imbalance of hormones be causing your busy brain? I'm Dr. Romy, and welcome to Module 3 of the Brain Shift Protocol on Hormones. Specifically, this video is for hormones and a woman's brain. So let's get started. How do hormones affect a woman's brain? <laughs> there is a link, and chances are, if you're watching this video, you've heard me speak, and we know that there are 50 hormones in the brain and the entire body that govern our body from functioning. As women, when we think of hormones, we just think of estrogen and progesterone, but it's a lot more complicated than that. In this video, I want to go over specifically a couple different set of hormones, your thyroid hormones and your sex hormones, that can actually contribute to you feeling anxious and having a busy brain. And working with the appropriate doctor to rebalance those hormones can actually help you calm a busy brain. Now, before you get started, I know some of you are binge watching this video like it's a Netflix series or you skipped over every other module because you've been wondering about your hormones and that's just fine. But I really can't stress enough. Could you please go back to module two, learn a little bit about sleep and do the seven day sleep challenge that no matter what's happening, even if your hormones are out of balance, if we don't work on resetting and restoring our sleep, no matter what hormones or supplements we're taking, we can't get control of the airport traffic control center of our brain or the rest of our body again. When our airport traffic control center is under stress and we're on that stress and success cycle, we are pumping out stress hormones like cortisol, adrenaline, epinephrine. It's what's keeping us going under really stressful situations, but it comes at an opportunity cost. Important hormones like your thyroid hormones and your sex hormones, specifically in a woman that's testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone, they get depleted. There's only so much gas in the form of hormones that your brain can and the rest of your body can make. And that airport traffic control center in the limbic system that we discussed, it's connected to your pituitary gland, your thyroid, your adrenals, and your ovary glands. And now all of that pathway becomes disrupted when we're stressed. So what do we do about it? I know your first temptation is to say, oh, I read a blog article, Dr. Romy, and there were these natural essential oils or some other supplements I can take to rebalance my hormones or let me start the latest trend diet. In actuality, some of those things can actually prolong or make the situation worse. The foundation is by starting and going to get these labs drawn from your physician. And don't worry if you're thinking, Dr. Romeo, I have these labs checked and the doctor told me they were okay. I'm going to tell you how to find the right doctor who can actually help you fix your hormones <laughs> once and for all. So let's talk about the specific hormones. Before we get to your sex hormones, it's really important to discuss your thyroid gland. You know, in traditional medicine, we fall short as a community in addressing the needs of thyroid hormones for men and women, especially stressed out individuals. When we're stressed, our thyroid takes a hit. There are actually four different types of thyroid hormones, T1, T2, T3, and T4. And you know what? If you just measure a TSH, which is what most doctors do, we're actually missing the full profile of how well your thyroid is working. So in the labs that I asked you to get checked below, which need to be drawn in your blood when you're fasting in the morning, there is a full thyroid panel that is going to check the entire spectrum, including for autoimmune or subclinical thyroid disease. Please go get those labs checked. Next, no matter whether you are still having a regular menstrual cycle, about to reach menopause or have passed menopause, we have to address your sex hormones. That is estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. If you are still having a regular cycle, it's important to get these labs checked. Either way, when we are on a stress and success cycle, these hormones can get disrupted. And an excess of estrogen or a drop in progesterone will absolutely not only make anxiety absolutely intolerable in women, 
but it can actually negatively impact your brain. I can't tell you how many female executives or athletes I've worked with over the year who've been so stressed out in their 30s and 40s and they're wondering, do I have early dementia, Dr. Romy? And it just turns out their hormones were out of balance or you felt like you were in a brain fog. That is hormone imbalance. So now you listened and you went and you got these labs drawn. You should get results back in about three to four days. What do you do next? I know, sometimes it's so frustrating. A primary care doctor is like, I don't know, everything looks okay. I want you to take those lab results and look up either a bioidentical hormone doctor or an anti-aging medicine doctor in your area. They are abundant for women. I am also going to take a strong stance here and ask you to find an actual doctor, an MD or a DO who specializes in this. I know there are a lot of outstanding coaches out there or chiropractors, but in not in every state are they allowed to prescribe or trained to know how to prescribe bioidentical hormones. Bioidentical hormones are natural and a proper anti-aging doctor or bioidentical hormone doctor actually will know how to personalize your dose. It's not one size fits all. You wouldn't do that with a couture gown and we're certainly not going to do that with your hormones. Now I know the temptation is there to get online and order a few supplements first, but I can't stress to you enough that you actually mean making the situation worse. If you don't have gas in the car, you don't wanna put sugar in the gas tank. You wanna put actual gas in it. And that's what happens when we have a hormone imbalance. And if you already didn't do that in module one, which was to click on the labs for women and print it out and take it to your doctor, this is an ideal time to do that. Now. I know there are a lot of questions surrounding hormones for men and for women. If you go to the reference section, I've pulled up and linked several articles that are written by authorities in this field that may answer several more questions you have. In addition, give you uh, books that you may want to read or listen to as an audiobook. But I can't stress enough, we can't take action unless we have facts. So go and get those labs checked and find a doctor that specializes in bioidentical hormones or anti-aging medicine. Because when we balance our hormones, it starts to help us balance our busy brain. And I just want you to take a moment and pause and think, who could you be when you brain shift? Who could you be at work? And how could you show up better at home? You could be calm, focused again, no longer have anxiety, but actually fall and stay asleep peacefully. I'm Dr. Romy. And I thank you for joining me on this journey to brain shift.